Do you like playing on artificial turf? The 2018 FIFA World Cup tournament in Russia will be played on artificial turf for the first time in football history. Artificial turf is made of synthetic blades in which layers of sand and performance infills are incorporated. Some systems also utilize a shock-absorbing layer underneath the turf. Artificial turf is weather-resistant and doesn't need sunlight, and is therefore more cost-efficient compared to natural grass. FIFA requirements ensure the turf being used meet playing performance, safety, durability, and quality assurance standards. FIFA awards the FIFA quality mark to turf that meets the standard for amateur pitches and awards the FIFA quality pro mark to turf that has been shown to provide the highest playing performance for professional level football. In total, six of the 12 stadiums in Russia to host the games at this summer's World Cup will be outfitted with artificial turf. Keep watching for more stories about the international governing body of football. Revelations of vote buying threatened to lose Qatar the 2022 World Cup. Back in 2010, several strong contenders were bidding to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup. But Qatar came out of nowhere and scored the rights to host the tournament, surprising absolutely everybody. Qatar had no soccer playing culture, no stadiums, and players would have to play in 50 degree heat or air conditioned stadiums. But one thing Qatar has lots of is money. Last week, the Sunday Times published an expose detailing payments by Qatari former FIFA executive Mohammed bin Hammam to secure votes for Qatar's World Cup bid. The revelations of corruption have given Australia, England, and the U.S. new hope of snatching the 2022 games back from Qatar. But if FIFA really took the cheats out of soccer, would it still be the beautiful game? FIFA officials booked in decades-long bribery scheme. Fourteen officials connected to FIFA are facing charges for a multi-million dollar bribery scheme after raids in Zurich and Miami led to their arrests on Wednesday. They were expected to uphold the rules that keep soccer honest and to protect the integrity of the game. Instead, they corrupted the business of worldwide soccer to serve their interests and to enrich themselves. Corruption within FIFA has led to the indictment of nine senior soccer officials and five sports marketing executives. Marketing companies allegedly paid FIFA officials six-figure bribes in exchange for favors and exclusive rights, and then turned around and charged broadcasting companies for the rights to run soccer tournaments like Copa America on their channels. The corruption also allegedly extended to the 2011 FIFA presidential election and to the selection of South Africa as the host country of the 2010 World Cup. The high profile officials, including FIFA's vice president, are facing a 47 count indictment for schemes dating as far back as 1991. Law enforcement officials did not arrest the president of FIFA, Seth Blatter, who plans to run for a fifth term on Friday. Six FIFA officials charged in corruption case after dramatic hotel raid. Swiss police detained some of the most powerful figures in world soccer on Wednesday in an early morning hotel raid. A dozen plainclothes Swiss police officers are reported to have arrested at least six FIFA officials at a hotel in Zurich. The New York Times reports that officers showed up at the hotel's front desk to get the keys to the suspects' rooms. The arrests were peaceful, with at least two suspects being let out of the hotel without handcuffs. 
Swiss authorities said the US charges date back to the early 1990s and that the suspects are alleged to have been involved in bribes totaling more than $100 million. Those arrested are detained pending extradition from Switzerland to the US to face federal charges. The Times reports that much of the inquiry relates to the Confederation of North, Central America and Caribbean Association football, one of FIFA's six regional confederations. FIFA's legacy of corruption comes to a head as several officials are arrested in Zurich. Swiss authorities have arrested multiple FIFA officials for a slew of corruption charges, stemming from an ongoing investigation by U.S. authorities into the notoriously corrupt organization. The arrest took place at a hotel in Zurich, Switzerland, early Wednesday morning. The suspects, whose names have been released, include FIFA Vice President Jeffrey Webb, who's from the Cayman Islands, Eugenio Fijuerero, President of South American soccer governing body CONMEBOL, who's from Uruguay, Rafael Esquivel, also from Uruguay and the Vice President of CONMEBOL, Jose Maria Marin, a member of FIFA's club committee from Brazil, Costa Rica's Eduardo Lee, who is reportedly going to join FIFA's executive committee on Friday, former FIFA Vice President Jack Warner from Trinidad, Tobago, Julio Rocha from Nicaragua, former FIFA exec Nicolas Leoz, and Costas Takas. The men face extradition to the United States for various charges, including tax evasion, money laundering, racketeering, and wire fraud that happened over the last 20 years. An election for the president of FIFA is scheduled to be held on Friday, but despite the recent arrests, the incumbent, Sepp Blatter, remains confident that he will defeat his only remaining challenger, Prince Al-Bin Al-Hussein from Jordan.